All right, so there's a few different, well, there's actually a lot of different ways that we can install and use MySQL on various systems. Uh, in this video, we're going to install MySQL onto a Windows machine. And what we're gonna do is download a Windows installer, uh, which is a pretty easy way to implement MySQL. Uh, most of our work will be on a Windows machine. Um, but we're not going to use just MySQL like we're going to install now. We're going to use a package called XAMPP, which gives us MySQL, PHP, and an Apache server. And that's basically what we'll use for this series. But I did just want to show you how to install just MySQL onto a Windows machine. All right, so we're going to go to. Um, let's see, we'll go to mysql.com and if we click on downloads, we want, let's see, we want the community edition, which is at the bottom. And let's see, over here in the left hand side, you can see MySQL on Windows and then MySQL installer. All right, and I'm using a, a 64 bit. It doesn't look like we have a 64 bit installer, but that's fine. So I'll just grab the 32. I'm going to click down here and say no thanks. Uh, this is just basically asking you to uh, register with them. I'm just going to skip that and save this to my downloads folder. And then we'll open that up. basically just going to go through uh, just like as if we were installing any any uh, Windows installer based programs all right so we should get a screen like this we're going to choose to install MySQL products we'll agree to the license terms click next uh, it's asking us uh, if we want to check for newer versions we'll just say okay uh, execute down here all right so we have the latest version so we'll click next and here you have a few different choices uh, you can choose this developer uh, option which let's see it includes the MySQL server MySQL workbench uh, Visual Studio plugin and then um, some connectors for um, Java and C and, and other types of languages. Uh, we're not going to do that. We're going to get the server only for this example. You can also download the client only, all right, which includes Workbench, Visual Studio plugin, uh, or you could just say full, which in installs all included MySQL product, products. And like I said, I'm going to do server only. We're going to we're going to install Workbench and some of those other things, but we're going to do that later on. Um, so let's click next. We'll just leave the default installation paths. All right, so let's execute. That's going to go ahead and install the latest version at this time is 5.6.16. You might have a different version. All right, so we get install success. We'll click next. All right, now this is just some configuration, uh, your configuration type. We can have a development machine, a server machine, and a dedicated machine. We're gonna keep the development machine. We can leave the default TCP IP port number, uh, and we don't need to do any advanced configuration right now. So we're just going to click next. Now you need to create a what's called a root user. All right, so the username is root, and you need to set a password for that root user. So I'm going to do that now. 
now you don't want to use your root user uh, when dealing when creating databases or, or doing anything really uh, so for that you should create a new user so I'm going to click add user and say Brad password I'll just say uh, one two three four Alright, you should obviously have a more secure password than that, but that's just for this example. And let's see, we want all hosts. We want this user to be an admin. You can see there's uh, different kinds of access you can give these, this user. And authentication. Alright, so that's good. Now we're going to have our root user and then we'll have our Brad user click next we can give this a uh, name default is mysql 56 which I'll just keep we can choose to start the server at system startup which we'll keep and we'll keep the standard system account alright so let's click next and finish ignore this all right, so now we have MySQL on our machine. If we go to our start menu, you can see we have this uh, command line client. And it just is it's going to ask us for our password. And this will be your root password. And now we're in. If you see this MySQL and this, this greater than sign, that means you're in the console. So we can do things like uh, show databases. Oh, and you want to do a semicolon or it's going to just give you a new line. All right, so by default we have this information schema and we have our test a test database. If we want to use that database, we can say use test. All right, and it says database changed. We can now say show tables. Oh, I always forget that semicolon. All right, so it's an empty set. We don't have any tables. Now I am going to do a command line tutorial uh, section, so I'm not going to do too much here, but just know that it is installed and you can access it. Uh, there's one more thing I want to show you, and that's that I want to be able to access uh, MySQL from our regular Windows command prompt. All right, so right now, when the Windows command prompt, if I say, uh, MySQL it's going to say that it's not recognized what it's doing is it's looking at our our path environmental variable and it's not finding it so we need to add it ourselves alright so to do this we want to click on on computer we want to right click and then go to properties and then we want to click on advanced system settings and let's see environmental variables and you should have this path variable if you don't you can just click new and create the path variable since we already have it we're going to click on edit and basically we just want to tag on to um, to our paths we have one program in here which is going to our npm which I actually don't even need all right, so now what we need to do is find the path to the MySQL program, which would be in computer, C drive, program files, MySQL, and then MySQL server, and then the version number. Oh, I'm sorry, then the bin. All right, so in here we should have MySQL.exe, which is the main program. Um, so let's just copy this path right here and we're going to add that to our path environmental variable okay so if we say okay okay and okay okay so now let's close this let's re-enter our command line you can do that down here in the start menu with CMD you could also pin it to your taskbar if you want. All right, so we can access it from here. And now if we say MySQL, you can see we, we get an error, but it's an access denied error. Okay, so we just need to log in. And we can do that. Say MySQL, 
and user equals, and we're going to use the Brad user, all right, and then we can say password equals one, two, three, four. All right, so now we're logged in as Brad, and we can say show databases. All right, so now we're logged in as Brad. I would advise that you log in as a different user than your root user. All right, so that's how you install MySQL server onto a Windows machine. In this video we're going to install MySQL onto a Linux machine and I'm using the Ubuntu uh, Linux distribution which is a very popular distri distribution and I myself really like it. So what we want to do is we're going to do an install from the terminal. All right, so I'm going to open up a terminal window and we're going to use the apt-get package manager to install this. So we want to type in sudo and what sudo does, it gives our user root access. So we can do um, installs and, and do all of that, that stuff that requires root access. All right, so sudo apt-get install, install MySQL server. And it's going to ask for your user password. Uh, if I can remember my, all right, there we go. All right, so it's going to tell us uh, it needs 92.2 megabytes of disk space. We'll say yes, enter. Alright, so you should get this uh, screen that pops up and it's just asking you uh, for the password you want to use for your root user. Okay, I'm just going to put in the password, repeat the password, and it will continue the installation. Alright, so what we have now is is the MySQL server installed on our system. What we want to do now is install the client so we can interact with the database. So we're going to say sudo apt-get install MySQL client. And this will give this will allow us to have that command line interface where we can interact with the database. All right, now, if you're going to use Linux, I, I would suggest installing the PHP module as well. So say sudo apt-get install php5 mysql. Alright, so now we have MySQL installed. So to access it, we can say MySQL and we're in. We're actually in as the root user. Show databases. Okay, we get this information schema and then we have a test database. We can say use test. Show tables and there's no tables and I'm not going to get into this because we're going to have a section on using the command line alright um, to get out of this you can do a control C and to let's say you want to stop the MySQL service um, you can say sudo etc slash init dot d slash MySQL stop all right, and to start it again, we can do that again and just say start. All right, so it's as easy as that. That's how you can install MySQL onto a Linux machine.